Hey guys, what's up? <clears throat> I just want to get your opinions on something. <clears throat> I want to discuss something here. Um, now again, I'm discussing another First Amendment auditor within the community or cop watcher within the community. This is not an attack against them, nor a criticism, nor I'm just discussing to see what you guys think. And for those who watch my videos that aren't familiar with the cop watching community or First Amendment auditor community, <clears throat> I put the link, a link to both videos in the description box below to the videos for Um No Thanks, Doug Um No Thanks. Uh, he's a First Amendment auditor, and I don't know that he does any cop watching anymore, but he does a lot of First Amendment auditing. And uh, I'm going to discuss an issue or an, an incident that happened and just get your all's opinions on it. Now, there's a third video that he just did today, and it's already been set private. I went to copy the link so I, you would have all three videos below. And the third one that he just did today... All of a sudden, I couldn't get the link for it. And I say, what the hell? So I went back to his channel to try to get it off the videos list, and it's not there. And I went back to my uh, subscribers list, where I'm subs people I'm subscribed to, to try to get the video link. And it says, video is private, or made private by user. <clears throat> so I don't know why he would make the video, and then all of a sudden set it private real quick. I don't know, unless he wants to look and see what if he said anything wrong. But here it goes. So he went to Shabbat Synagogue or a Jewish synagogue, the Shabbat Center. Yeah. And uh, he was there and a guy comes out and talks to him and it seemed pretty, like a pretty reasonable guy and said, you know, just we don't know what you're doing. And it seemed like they had a pretty cordial conversation. And then later that same guy comes out and just assaults him, slaps his gimbal, uh, swings at him. He said he got punched. Now, here's where it kind of gets weird the police are called out there for the incident and when they come up uh doug wants the guy to apologize i want him to apologize and they say well do you want to press charges well yeah if he doesn't apologize and um i'm going off memory i might get a detail or two kind of mixed up but it, it it's kind of like that it goes kind of like that so basically what happens is the guy gives him an apology and he goes not good enough not good enough i want you to say i apologize for hitting me and he goes i apologize for what happened no apologize for, say i apologize for hitting you say that say this you know and he's telling him what to say to apologize like so anyway the guy's like no nah, i'm not gonna do that so the cops say, well, give us your information and we can, you know, pr arrest him for like assault. We can do a, a PPA. He doesn't want to give his name. He goes, well, I don't have to give you my name. The cop says, well, I need your name for my report. Okay. I was called out here. And I believe if I'm not mistaken, the cop said, you called me out here. So I need your name for the report. Not true. Uh, a RP is reporting person or reporting party. And the reporting person, RP, can make a call, 911 call or anything, anonymously. You can do it and say, I'm not giving my name. It's an anonymous call. Of course, at that point, there's not a lot they can do in terms of charges or what have you, unless, you know, it's a serious crime. Like, for instance, you say, well, I got punched in the chest. You probably pretty much have to give your name because you're a victim and you're the uh, arresting person at that point. Unless the cops can prove, you know, assault or whatever. Uh, that they didn't witness it. Does that make sense? But what I'm saying is in most cases, particularly every case, you can make a call to the police and say, I'm not giving any information. This is an anonymous call. That's legal. But to go further with charges and so forth, there may be um, requirements that you give your name and date of birth. Especially if you're going to be pressing charges because now you're the plaintiff or the prosecuting, not prosecuting, but the, the charging party. Um, and I'm kind of winging it here. So, you know, give me a little latitude, as they say here. But uh, he doesn't want to give his name or anything. So they say, all right, well, whatever. And they never arrest the guy. And then he gets mad because they don't arrest the guy. And he goes over to another cop. I believe it was a sergeant. 
that's sitting in a car and he goes, yeah, I'm, my name's Doug and gives him his name and says, yeah, my brother is law enforcement. And, Hold on, you didn't want to give your name to the other cop. I'd be mean, giving a name to him. So all of a sudden now he's given his information. But he gets mad because they didn't arrest the guy. So then today, uh, um, no thanks makes a video. And again, I'm not attacking, criticizing or anything. I'm just explaining what happened. I know my facial expressions may seem a little um, contradictory to that. But I'm just getting your guys' opinions on the issue here. I'm just kind of wondering what you guys may think. Um, you go, you can always, you, all of you can always do this to me too if you want. I don't mind. Okay, I love to these discussions. Discuss my videos. Awesome. Let's do this. Uh, but anyway, so um, today he made a video and I watched it in its entirety before it was made private. But he said he called the watch commander and he talked to her and said, you know, they didn't do the job. And, you know, I, I felt like more should have been done. And he said she's going to watch the video. And then he said, and I may be pressing charges against the guy because I have to go to court for these, you know, people that these uniform public officials that don't do their job. And I have to go to court and stuff. This guy's going to have to go to court. I'm going to press charges. Well, why didn't you do that on the day that they were there? And they said, can we get your information and we'll go ahead and arrest him for, you know, this misdemeanor assault. But you don't want to give your information to them until you walked over to the sergeant when they were all done and said, yeah, my name's Doug. Why didn't you give it to the other cop so that he could do the report? I don't know. I'm just asking. Inquiring minds want to know, and you did make it public, so that's why we're allowed to ask you these questions. And I am Community Leo Watch, watching Leos, that's law enforcement officers, and I kind of keep my eye on auditors, too. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I put the two video links uh, in the description box. I went to put the third one, but apparently the video has been made private by the user. I'll check again right now, and if it's public again, I will put the link there. If you only see two links, then it's probably still private. Thank you guys for watching. Community Leo Watch on a rainy eve before Christmas Eve.